hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here on this channel i do general tarot readings for all zodiac signs and in this video we're particularly focusing on the sign of sagittarius sun moon rising and venus so welcome in thank you so much for being here saggy remember that if you find messages here that resonate with you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up those the little treats are very nice to have so good good thank you share this video with those that you love and sub, um, support my channel by subscribing hitting that red subscribe button Sagittarius other ways to support can be found in the description box below this video also if these messages resonate with you and you'd like more clarification book a personal reading with me so you can get intimate readings just for you details for that also in the description box below this video so check that out and let us get started these are general readings our general messages and so all of them may not apply to you so take what applies the sagittarius and the rest let it slide okay welcome in i feel like some of you are working on your money or you are waiting on something to come through when it comes to a job opportunity. Hey, look at that. A job opportunity. Hey, welcome in Sagittarius. Thank you. Yes, yes. So you are out here with the temperance energy, working on your money. So what I'm saying is, I feel like you, you're not waiting for something to come through anymore. It's already here. So you're working. So you are working maybe on a, you are waiting on an opportunity, a job opportunity, Saji. And it's, it, it is here. And so you're not working. You're not working on your money. Some of you are working on your sense of self. Some of you are finding balance and healing right now. Some of you are coming into alignment with a water sign. Are coming into alignment with your higher self coming into alignment or you are already in alignment with your higher self angelic connections spiritual connection we have the third eye energy here presence within the temperance card so some of your third eyes may be open you see things differently than others you feel differently you move you act you speak differently than many people within your circle here you're definitely focusing on building your business. I feel you're very confident too, a very confident person. You are looking good physically, maybe spiritually too, in the way you feel about yourself, the way you feel about life. Hmm. Okay. All right, so let us begin. We're about to take a look at your past your current energy your future energy sagittarius some of you are leaving behind water energy queen of cups uh you're 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 or this is this person is already in your life maybe you're not leaving this person but this person is still a part of your journey cancer pisces or scorpio nurturing loving caring abundant just that motherly giving energy someone that makes you feel soothed and loved and good this person is very intuitive very caring very uh emotionally supportive this person you could have had a child with or wanted to have a child with this energy here um this person is one that rubbed your back gave you massages just made you feel loved and seen because that's it with, with the water energy. They're able to see your emotions. So they see you, they feel you. This person may have given you some type of healing. Could be sexual healing as well. So this is the energy. I'm feeling water energy within your energy here. The temperance energy, Sagittarius' card. So I'm feeling that this water energy is still much present and active within your vibration here. This could be your mother for some of you, a grandmother a past love connection this could be your wife honestly that's that is still currently your wife but you're thinking of how beautiful this connection is and you're glad you met this person your wife the mother the the mother of your children let us look at the current energy for sagittarius what is sagittarius currently feeling and experiencing let us see 
looking seeking maybe wanting to return working on digging through moving through i feel like someone who's who is mining or going through a cave like you're physically digging your way through like i feel like this is mole energy and mole that's digging through the ground this is earth energy virgo energy working diligently to get through to where they want to be maybe someone want you want to communicate like you're trying to get through get that communication through but there's a blockage but you keep trying to get this message through these these blockages you're trying to maybe because with the hermit card this can be um psychic abilities to wanting to telepathically reach out to this person as if wanting to reconnect to their their emotions they're feeling again i feel like you you're trying your emotions are wanting to li literally get out of your body to say i'm seeking you i'm looking for you where are you as if you're trying to energetically find this person you know when this is that blind energy of being in the dark but still digging because you, your senses are working and you know what direction to go through so maybe some of you are paying attention to other things you could be involved in another relationship but energetically as if you're always looking for this connection with this past person so that's how i'm feeling for you right now let's continue we're gonna see what your future is looking like sagittarius what's coming up for you let us look at Sagittarius's future. What's what's to be seen? The star. Oh, wow. I feel like this is um going back. He as if going back to the place where you used to be going back home to find that that is where the treasure was all along it's as if you grew up in a place where the water was you knew that that water was healing but you had to leave that 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 place but something happened and so you traveled back home to that source so source source is energy some of you are going to go through a spiritual awakening here. The temperance and the star card. Going back to source. This could be going back to your previous, your past love connection for some healing. See this water energy keeps coming back. So I feel like maybe some of you want to go back to the source of your healing. Go back to that source where you know that things that you can find healing here like you know it's a, that's what i'm saying as if you grew up in a community knowing that there's a source where healing water is and but you you left for some reason but no, and then something occurred in your life that reminded you here but that that you can go back to that source for healing so i feel maybe in the night time or you arrive at this place at night time and you end up here in this water really healing i feel like it's so beautiful and so serene i feel like uh you're, you're very you're an emotional person as well uh spiritually gifted maybe some people don't know this about you that you're highly spiritual and awake i feel like your third eye is open and you're, it's like looking around but a lot of maybe a lot of people don't see that i feel like you keep this third eye opening within your heart space you don't speak a lot or within your throat area like there's a balance in how you express yourself and what you tell people about you so you could be seeking higher spirituality here spiritual connections connecting with your emotional side let's get um a little bit more clarification for you the past energy the queen of cups we have the king of wands the king of wands this is your energy this person may have been focusing on you but you may have been looking elsewhere hmm. and then we have the five of wands with which is uh, a bit of conflict so maybe you are focusing on the negative things or focusing on the past you were the one focusing on the past but this energy was focusing on you like this person was looking at you and maybe they weren't even speaking but they're just intuitively observe intuitively observing you to see who you are what you stand for but i feel like at that time you weren't ready to be committed to this connection you weren't ready aries i'm sorry leo i'm sorry what the heck 
fire sign Sagittarius <laughs> I feel like you weren't ready yet for this connection so you were looking elsewhere maybe at uh, other options other people that were fighting for your attention well this person was giving you all this love and affection come on you know uh, so maybe it's something ended between you two maybe someone else came and took your person away from you because you were distracted you weren't paying attention to this love that you were given you were gifted mm -hmm. with yes maybe some of you were juggling with this this connection and maybe your, someone came and stole your person's heart away because you weren't looking you weren't looking at your person you weren't look at you i feel like you didn't see her or him in some cases you know you weren't you weren't looking at this person's heart and soul and mind and energy you feel them you are attracted to this person they're attracted to you and they give you a, they gave or give to you a lot of their attention and their affection their emotional healing they love you or they loved you i feel someone drinking carrot juice maybe they made food for you because water signs love food so maybe this person went all out for you when it comes to taking care of you and you were distracted with all of these other people vying for your attention over here and you thought this was cute that people were looking at you and so look at you feeling hot i'm like i'm, I'm so attractive while your woman here is like backing you and you're not looking to see how look at her you know you should be looking at this woman's presence in your life or this man's energy but you weren't so maybe that's why you lost and now some of you want to go back and seek this connection again all right so we're about to continue let's continue to see what you're searching for with your present energy clarity some of you may want to communicate to communicate with the sword energy remember i was talking about digging through a cave i feel like you wish you had the tools to really communicate with this person you wish you had the tools to get through to get this message through all right you could be coming up on some divine tools that are going to guide you help you to get this message through to this person i feel like your emo your heart is calling out you want your yearning your yearning for this connection and this could be otherwise where it's this connection that's yearning for you to communicate with them but here's the tool you're getting you have the, you have the information right with the ace of swords card and you're seeking clarity oh my god you may have success or this is what you want you want to have this material success or this success in a relationship the sun card you're look at this you're seeking to have this this feeling of happiness success and joy maybe you're seeking you're looking into yourself now you're introspecting for some of you to find out what it is that you really want out of this life what stability what's going to make you stable some of you may be wanting to connect with your spiritual side maybe thinking of going back to church for some of you or are, are, are really tuning into the sun energy jesus christ energy here because even the swords energy for me this is victory belongs to jesus energy right we have the crown here which is king which is in wisdom and intelligence and power and this is what you're seeking for this soul connection within yourself this is the sun energy i do feel like you have guidance on your side honestly you have a uh, uh, maybe you have some kind of a um it feels like the presence of a spiritual guide here that's that's consistently around you this person could be earth sign now this is your energy this is how you present yourself to the world sagittarius beautiful happy outgoing fun vibrant but at the same time i feel like you're missing a connection let's continue to clarify the star energy which is um we said you healing going back to source and this is what i'm feeling going back to source seeking within answers within yourself because reali you're realizing that you are the source you are the source you're coming into yourself there's something beautiful happening for you i hope you're really listening through to this reading because there's something beautiful happening within your next seven days ahead 
I love it. It's powerful. I love it. I love the energy I'm feeling within myself here. All right. It's as if you're going on a journey of self-discovery because, especially because of a past connection that triggered you emotionally to love. Right, let's clarify the star card. Oh! look at that that is the king of one so this person could have been your divine motherfucking soulmate powerful water energy cancer pisces scorpio this person was your soulmate you prob probably had a family or wanted to have a family with this woman look at you see what i'm saying you're moving into alignment with yourself because you realize that you weren't giving this connection your best shot before you were focusing other in other direction. You see that? And now you want to become greater maybe for this person or just for yourself. But I feel for this connection, you're missing this person so much. I feel like you just want to align yourself with with their energy so that you can meet them and look at how you are looking this is the way you're supposed to look at your person you see this is the way when two people love each other this is how they they feel each other's energy look how you're looking at this woman here this is what I'm saying this is how you should be looking at this woman as if she's the grace and light in your life here. Beautiful. This is a cancer and this woman is going to cook you dinner. Have your babies make your bed and love you. You know, this is queen. All the queen in the deck energy and all the king in the deck. So I feel like, mm, I feel like crying. I do. I feel like it's really powerful, Sagittarius. I love it so much. I don't want to stop it. I don't want the energy to, to, to subside at all. So now we have the... Oh! Oh my God. <laughs> Some of you may be getting the alignment that you've been wanting. Some of you are going to be celebrating in this connection. You've been working energetically, healing, going back to source, which is yourself. I feel like I'm not putting this into words effectively enough for you to see how beautiful and powerful this is. I love it. Please tell me what's coming. Like after the seven days have passed, have passed, please message, please tell me um, what what's going on. This is beautiful. It could be your aligning with your soulmate, your twin flame. The Three of Cups energy is celebration, um, aligning with your tribe, having babies. Some of you could be having a child with this woman. Look at the three. Oh my God. I wish this was me, honestly. It's so nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a, a movie or a fairy tale here. It's so beautiful. <laughs> It's as if you would not stop looking for this person or you wouldn't stop digging through all of the stones and the rubble until you 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 got it right and you came through and you're celebrating you're happy oh my god 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 <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a movie and it's it's a beautiful ending. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I know I'm explaining it in a way where you can see it how I'm feeling it, but it's so beautiful. Alright. Okay. This is really nice. Okay. I love it so much. Okay, so I have to go remember my battery is low so remember that if you want further clarification in any area of this reading to check out the description box for personal readings I wish you the best thank you so much for coming through Sagittarius much love to you and blessings hit that subscribe button that like button on the way out and share this video with someone that you love you may share it with the right person maybe that's how you get to communicate thank you so much I appreciate your energy 
I will see you next time. Much love to you. Namaste.